All right, so we've talked about a couple of different types of data and really just the basics of entering this data into an Excel worksheet. Now, we're gonna switch gears here a little bit. We're, we are gonna continue talking about entering data, but we're gonna talk about a different form of data. We're gonna talk about formulas, calculations. But before we do that, I want to reemphasize the concept of cell references or the way that we reference content within our Excel worksheets. And I've really hinted at this, really at a high level, but I wanna drill in and get a little more specific about this concept because it's gonna become very important as we get into formulas, get into functions and calculations. So take a look. This is the cell referencing concept. Now I talked about earlier how a worksheet is broken up into columns, A, B, C, D. Remember all the way to XFD, that thousands and thousands of columns later? And it's broken up into rows. One, two, three, four, all the way down to a million plus rows. This huge amount of data. Now the way that we reference content in this sea of columns and rows is by a cell reference or a cell address. Take a look. Let's say this $50 here that I've spent for January for phone. Where's that at? In this Excel worksheet, how would you reference where that content's at? Maybe a coworker is asking you, hey, you updated this document, where'd you update these values at? Well, I updated on this worksheet inside of this spreadsheet. Well, I wanna get a little more accurate with it. You know, maybe I wanna add up that column's worth of values. Well, which data am I actually adding up here? Well, the way that we reference that cell, $50 right there, is column and row reference. So that cell, that location, that address, that cell reference would be column B, row six. It's six rows down and it's in column B. Cell reference B6. How about this? How about this total over here? Where's that one at? Yeah, it's in the E column, it's in row four, E4. Now, a really quick way to identify this, and you can see it right there, just column row, but up to the left of the formula bar, you have what's called your name box. And in here, it tells you what's the active cell, what's currently selected. Oh, E4, I'll click down here and it's 350. Oh, it's C8, it's right there. We have these cell references. Now, once again, this is a simple concept. It's column and row, just telling you where you're at within this grid. But once again, you start creating formulas, calculations. When we create our mathematical calculations like this plus this, or this minus this, or this divided by this, we need to tell it, oh, it's this cell, B5, multiplied or adding D5. We need to tell it where this data is located at. Okay, so try this out for a moment. Click into a cell, identify where you're at. What's the column, what's the row, what's the address, the cell reference? D5, B5, E20, F2000, wherever you're at. This is how you're going to reference data within an Excel document. So now that we get a grasp on that, and again, practice it. Poke around in there, get a feel for referencing cells this way. Now we're gonna jump into formulas.